Hey everybody, Todd Arena here with yet another online webmarket.net Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to convert a full color photo to black and white and sepia tone. So first here we go, we were going to, just a very brief tutorial, we're going to start out with our image. Um, as you can see it's a nice puppy, cute little puppy being held by a little boy. We're, we want to see how it's going to look in black and white. There, there are a lot of different ways to do this in Photoshop. First, quickest way that people might think of is to go up to the image menu, over to adjustments, and to hue saturation. Basically, if we remove all of the saturation in the image, there you go, you've got a black and white image. You can see the before and after if you check off the preview tick mark. Um, there's a, a, so many more options we can do if we just avoid this method. This is an okay method, but there, you're, you're, la you're look, uh, missing out on a lot of different um, extra extra features that Photoshop has built in automatically. So let's close out of this. Let's just hit cancel. We're going to go into image, adjust, and we're going to go to the black and white option. In the black and white option, we have a whole list of presets. Now you have your default preset. You've got blue filter, darker. There's all these different presets. Basically every image is slightly different, has slightly different hues, tones. What you're going to do is you, you can to quickly cycle through them. Just click on the list and then use the up and down arrows on your keyboard and you can kind of see which, which preset you like the best. You can go up and down. You, you can actually adjust manually as well. If you know there's a lot of yellows in this image, I can take the yellows down. If I really want to preserve the hairs in the, in the dog's face, you know, zoom in a little bit, you can kind of see what I mean. If I bring the yellows all the way up, you're almost blowing out the, the highlights on the dog's face. If you bring it down, you, you're actually preserving them. So basically tweak it to whatever you want. And once you're, once you're happy, I'm just going to set it to, let's see, let's set it to the blue filter. And then tweak up the yellows just a bit. Zoom out a bit using my control plus, control minus on the keyboard. Okay, that looks about good. I'm going to click OK. And now there's our black and white image. Now to convert this to sepia tone, I'm going to go up to image, adjust, and then I'm going to go to this option here, which is called, uh, actually, where is it? Photo filter. Once you go to photo filter, there are a whole bunch of different filters. So you've got warming filters, you've got cooling filters. So if you, if you wanted something totally different than sepia, this is another area you can, you can find it in to make like a mono, monotone type image, dual tone. So for demonstration purposes, we're just going to use the warming filter. You can also do a custom color. If you click this option, you can pick whatever color you want. Um, then you can uh, uh, slide the density up and down. So I think right about, let's see, right about there is good. It's a little warm. I'm going to bring down the, the tone just a little bit and bring it into a more brown. Maybe a reddish brown. See, that's a little too red, so I'm going to go back up to orangey tones, click OK. I can adjust my density however much I, I want. Click OK when you're done, and there you have it. So if you want to check out some more tutorials and great articles, check out onlinewebmarket.net. Thanks.